Hey, hello. It's Sunday, May 29th. I'm out here in my garage admiring my beautiful 1929 Ford Roadster with the Mustang motor and all of that hot rod stuff. Such a great, great toy to have in my life. And while I was at it, you know, I was listening to some information by Fortune 500 and CoreLogic, who is a nationwide um, real estate investment analysis company. And CoreLogic is predicting that, uh, you know, we've just spiked over the past month, the real estate market down a little bit. And there's just no way around it that the, uh, the feds, the federal government are trying to reduce this runaway inflation and get it under control. This will cause some economic damage. No matter what we do, we're gonna have economic damage, you know, because of that. But the central banks have upward pressure on mortgage rates right now. Uh, as we all know, interest rates have gone from 3.11% to 5.25% over the past five months. Wow. So that's a big change. It's cooling the booming housing market and things are starting to change. We're seeing some, some adjustments. Um, Neil Kashkari, uh, president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis, uh, reviewing these reports, um, sees a higher spending of the consumer. So the consumer hasn't been affected yet. We still kind of feel like we have money because there's been so much money flowing around, but we still have higher consumption, which really kind of also causes additional higher inflation and makes for higher prices on homes. What do you think? Do you think prices are gonna go up or prices are gonna go down in houses if the interest rates are up? Probably gonna be seeing an adjustment sometime soon, but may create some additional inflation along the way. But whether or not home prices go up or down or make an adjustment, CoreLogic, who is a nationwide a uh, real estate advisory firm has done a market analysis of 390 markets in the entire United States. And the good news is that they've reported that of the 392, about a month and a half ago, only 17% of them looked to see some kind of an adjustment downward in value. Um, over the last 30 or 40 days now, they're looking and saying, oh, well, you know, we're seeing 70 regions that will adjust prices down over time, um, say within the next year or so. But again, I said good news. The good news is that they're predicting that there's not going to be a big major price reduction in our given area here in Westlake, Sacramento area uh, in general. Um, they see that things are going to be relatively stable and they expect that we will actually see price increases of about 5.9% between March of 2022 and March of 2023. So take it as you wish and be prepared for adjustments. It takes a little longer to sell houses now. We have seen some recent price predictions reductions of up to $50,000 right here in the West Lake community. We've only got five houses on the market and two of them reduced their prices by 50,000. Probably overpriced to begin with because they were feeling fat and sassy with this new market. But nevertheless, um, I think we're all gonna be fine and I hope that uh, we can be of any assistance to you just by providing information. Uh, I'm Philip Todd. Uh, I work with Twin Rivers Real Estate and I do a lot of business in Westlake and Granite Bay and so forth. So I hope you're having a great spring and maybe we'll see you on the next go-round.